A record-breaking heat wave stretching from California to Florida has scorched the nation for more than 40 days. Now the state line is set to feel the heat. Our Jess Lipson spoke with local AC experts to find out what we can do to prepare. Jess? Mimi, it's all about getting ahead of the heat. Preparing your unit or house before temperatures rise can help you keep the house cooler and save a little money in the process. The surface work definitely has picked up this week. David Goff and his company, Goff Heating and Air Conditioning, have a busy week ahead. We could hit 90 degrees several days in a row. David says now is the time to prepare. It could end up saving you money. The misconception is a lot of people think that, okay, well, I, I'm not going to turn it on until it gets really hot. Well, what happens then is the system has to work so hard to try to catch up that you're using just as much energy as you would have if you had just turned it on ahead of time. And then it's not quite as hard on the system as well when it's not having to bring the temperature down a great number of degrees. Closing blinds, windows, doors, anything that keeps the hot air outside and the cold air in or stops the sun from heating up the house will help. As for a thermostat temperature, David says there isn't a specific number that works best. Some people like it you know, warmer, 78 degrees. Some people like it quite a bit cooler, 72, 74. Uh, I can say that when the weather is this hot, um, systems will have a harder time maintaining temperatures down around 70 degrees. Uh, typically, the AC systems are designed to cool 20 degrees cooler than what it is outside. David and his team start early in the spring doing maintenance and cleaning checks to make sure the Freon is full. And the system isn't drawing too much power. He says doing that ahead of time is important to reduce safety issues when using the AC a lot. You know, the harder they work, the, the more prone they are to, to breaking. Um, so yeah, a heat wave like that, capacitors are a big thing that go out. They can sometimes even cause a fire like that, possibly. Um, Typically, it is maintained in the outdoor unit. It doesn't spread to the house, typically. David says if you have problems getting part of your house cooler or the temperature is not balancing from room to room, getting dampers could help. Mimi? All right, thanks, Jess.